Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to solve one of the lead code SQL coding exercise. The lead code exercise number is 1045. The complexity level is medium. The problem statement is we need to find the list of customer IDs who bought all the products from the product table. So let's say we are having customer table with customer ID and the product that they have purchased. And also we are having another table product which is having all the list of products. Now we need to find out the list of customers who bought all the products from the product table. So if you look at the customer ID 1 which is having two records, this one and the last one. Customer 1 bought both the products, product uh, key 5 and also 6. And coming to product table, we are having only two unique products which is product 5 and 6. So the customer ID 1 bought all the products from the product table. And if you look at the second uh, customer ID 2, he bought only the product 6. He didn't purchase the product 5, which means we should not consider this customer for our report. And the third customer, he also bought both the products 5 and 6. So we should consider this customer also. So basically, we need to find the list of customers who bought all the products from the product table. This is the problem statement. I am going to show how to solve these problems using PySpark and standard ANSI SQL. And even in SQL, there are multiple approaches to solve this problem. I am going to cover 2-3 approaches in this demo. First of all, we have to think you now how we can simplify this problem statement into multiple smaller steps. So here, I have come up with uh, some thought process like instead of an iterating, instead of uh, checking all the customers one by one with a product table, my idea is I want to find the list of unique products from the product table. That is one side. And another side, I want to find the list of customers along with unique number of products they have purchased. So if I'm going to split this problem statement into these two steps, then it will be easier for me later. Why? From the product table, I will have the list of um, products. In this case, it's going to be two. And next, I'm going to find the list of customer along with their unique number of products. So for that, customer ID part two unique products, which is five and six. So for customer ID, it will be two. And same for customer three, it would be two. But for customer two, he bought only one product. It's going to be one. Now it's going to be easy to compare. Now, whichever the customer bought, the number of unique products which is matching with number of unique products from the product table then easily i can match that either using join or filter so let me break down this problem into smaller steps first thing is i need to find number of unique products from product table for that i am simply using count of distinct product key from the product table so when this is the input i am using this distinct count then it's going to give to us product count Next, I'm going to find the customer IDs along with their unique number of products purchased. For that, I'm going to use aggregate function customer ID along with count of distinct product key from this customer table and I'm grouping based on customer ID. Then what it, what it does is it is bringing customer ID along with product ID. So customer ID 1 which is having two unique products 5 and 6 and uh, customer ID 3 also purchased two unique products and customer 2 purchased only one unique product. Now, when I get these two information from uh, product and customer table, now it, I, I can easily compare wherever the product count is matching, I can consider only those uh, uh, customer ID for my report. So here, when I'm going to match this product count with this uh, product count, so it's uh, these two IDs are eligible. And how I can match? I can use either join. I can join based on this product uh, count so this one is not matching with the two. So this record will be eliminated. Otherwise, I can apply filter also. I can put select from this table where product count, uh, this product count is matching with this product count. In that case also, this record will be eliminated. So uh, this is the approach how we can solve this problem. Let's get started with the demo. I have logged into my Databricks environment. So first I'm creating a data frame to create sample data frames. So this is same. Uh, uh, data that I have shown in the slide, which is uh, having customer ID, product key and another table product, uh, only no product table, which is having product key. It's the same data set. Now, what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm converting this data frame into uh, views because we are going to use uh, SQL. Once this is done, 
then i am going to um, uh, split this approach into multiple smaller steps as i explained in the slide first i want to get number of unique products from the product table for that simply i am using count distinct product key that's it i am giving alias product count from the product table let me execute then we can see the output here we can see product count 2 then the next another step is i have to get the list of customer along with unique number of products that they have purchased so for that i am using uh, customer id along with count of distinct product key from the customer table and i am grouping based on customer id so this is going to give the list of customers along with unique number of products that they have purchased so here we can see now i am going to combine these steps so for that what i am going to do is i am going to create common table expression in one of the first common table expression i am going to get the number of products from the product table and i am using another common table expression there i am getting list of customers along with number of products that they have purchased now as i mentioned in the slide we can match both of them using join so here in the main query i am uh, joining cte1 with my cte2 based on product count as a joining key then it is going to give only the number of uh, uh, the only the customer ids who purchased all the products from the product table so i am executing so we can see the output here customer id 1 and 3 so this is one of the simple approach and instead of join we can also go with filter and also in this exercise maybe common table expression is not needed just uh, i wanted to um, you know split this problem uh, into multiple smaller steps that's why i uh, split it and i have created common table expression so in my next um, uh, approach i am going to remove the first uh, common table expression which is uh, finding number of unique uh, table so for that here we can see only in a common table expression 2 which is getting the list of uh, customers along with number of products they have purchased and uh, directly in the main query i am using filter condition where product count from the cte2 i am just uh, counting the number of unique products from the product table so this is going to give 2 so basically uh, this uh, product count you know for each and every customer so first customer uh, it's going to give 2 number of product count so that is matching so second customer it is not matching because product count would be 1 and this subquery is going to give 2 so in this way we can apply filter to get the uh, desired output this is another approach and the third approach is very simple and more standard approach here we are going to use having class that is going to be the key here we are not going to use any common table expression instead of that simply i am selecting list of customers uh, customer id for my output from the customer table i am just aggregating based on the customer id and in the aggregate i am going to perform count of unique product key for each customer id where now we are grouping based on customer id so for each uh, customer id i am getting unique product key then directly you know i am uh, uh, comparing with uh, uh, unique number of products from the product table for that i am using having class having class basically we can apply any filter on top of aggregated value so that is the purpose of having class so here I, uh, by using having class directly i can um, um, uh, filter i can find the list of customer id so we don't need to use any common table expression this is another approach so this is also going to give the same output these are you no know, different approaches how we can approach um, uh, this particular problem statement and uh, coming to PySpark approach um, uh, i have done the same thing first i am creating one customer uh, count uh, data frame there i am just uh, grouping based on the customer id within that i am getting count of distinct product key and i am giving alias product count basically this is going to uh, create a data frame with list of customers along with number of products they have purchased and in the second data frame I'm just getting the number of uh, products from the product data frame. So it is going to give number of products in the product table. Then later I'm going to uh, either I can uh, perform the join or I can do the filter. So in the result data frame, I'm just uh, filtering, you know, based on this uh, product count from the uh, customer count data frame, which is equal to uh, total number of products from the product table. It's the uh, same approach uh, which uh, we have done using uh, two different common uh, table expression above. So finally, I am displaying the output. Let me execute. This is also going to give the uh, same output. So this is how we can solve this problem using different approaches. I hope you understood. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like and comment in the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.